going for everybody, Walker Day here, back again with another video for you guys. This is my video talking about, the, yes, the announcement in regards to this new show AMC is doing with Negan and Maggie coming in 2023. Anyway, thank you all so much for the love and support. I do appreciate it. Thank you all. And, and as always, let's get into this uh, video now, shall we? Uh, so, to those who don't know, which, well, maybe you do know, I don't know, but anyway, uh, it was announced yesterday that, uh, AMC is gonna be developing a show centered around the characters of Negan and Maggie Green in the Walking Dead TV show universe, and that the show is gonna come out in 2023, the, the same year around... The time that maybe, yeah, yeah, the same year as Daryl and Carol comes out. And when I heard about this news, I was actually pretty excited because, because in my opinion, we get to see Negan again. We get to see Lauren Cohen again as uh, Maggie, even though you guys know how I feel about the character of Maggie in a Walking TV show. But that that doesn't mean I'm not going to still watch for the actress. But but yeah, but when I heard the news, I'm like, yes, finally something something good because I, I know AMC. My bad, that's background noise. But but yeah, AMC, as we know, they have not announced anything anything like good in regard like. And yes, this is a fact. And yes, I'm going to bring this up for the Walking Dead movies. We have not heard anything uh, for Tales. We have not heard anything, but. When we got this little piece of news right here, it felt like, yes, AMC's finally giving us something good and giving us some news. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> and before you guys bring this up, I'm like, in my opinion, they're doing way too many spinoffs. AMC is doing way too much because it's like, what are you doing? In a weird way, I guess you can argue that AMC doesn't know how to organize their shit. But anyway, moving on to the next subject at hand. Uh, the showrunner, from what I heard, and, and yes, I have read this. Uh, the showrunner for Negan and Maggie is going to be some woman slash writer named Ellie Horn. If I'm not mistaken, and when I heard about the news of showrunner, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. Because every showrunner we've had in the Walking the TV show universe, other than... Uh, Dave Erickson and Frank Darabont uh, have been doing whatever the fuck they want to do. So, so when I heard about this woman and, and that when it was revealed that she's the one who be show running the show, I'm like, well, I don't know how to feel about it because you knowing MC, they hire showrunners and they don't, and these showrunners don't, don't, you know, end up doing whatever the fuck they want to do. So this is why I, I'm not sure about the whole showrunner thing. But thank God it's not fucking Angela King doing this show because Angela King, in my opinion, butchered Maggie's character in the Walking Dead TV series so much to the point where a lot of people don't care. And yeah, that's somewhat a fact because a lot of people right now are not liking the character of Maggie in the Walking Dead TV show universe. But yeah, according from the photo fo from, from the photo in the background, there's gonna be like this big city, and this is what's interesting to me. I'm like, okay, and you're gonna go to New York City, and there's gonna be like this big city. There's gonna be walls or whatever. I'm like, I, this is what gets me curious. Could this city be connected with the CRM? It has to be because it's a big city. There's like big walls or whatever. Um, and plus there's that little Easter egg. So could we somewhat find something? about Rick in the show. Because if it's not in regards to the CRM or to Rick, then what's the whole point of the show in the first place? Same with Daryl and Carol. If it's not gonna be about them fighting Rick, what's the point of the show? What's the point of this spin off? What's the whole point of this idea if it's not gonna be good? But what do I think about this? I think this show could be interesting if done right. I think if the writing is good, if the budget's really good, then this show could be could be a decent show. However, if it's not good, then what's the point of the show? If it's not, if it's, if this big city like community is not going to be connected with Rick or the CRM, then what's the whole point of this show? Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I don't mean to rant, uh, but I, I don't get me wrong. Yes, I'm going to check out this show just to see how it goes. I'm going to check it out because I love Warren Cohan 
to death and she's just amazing and jeffrey morgan is actually one of my favorite actors ever so of course i'm going to watch the show for them so but in my honest honest opinion i feel like amc is doing way too many spin-offs uh in my, and in my honest opinion i i feel like they should have waited until the very last episode of the walking dead season 11 to announce this news uh don't get me wrong the, the news was good from what we got but in my honest opinion and probably you guys could, could agree with me in the comments down below that we should that that uh yeah amc should have waited and like after the very very ep very last episode of the walking the tv show to announce something like this because if they did i don't think some people would have been like like you know annoyed but yeah I, i'm hyped for i i for i i mean yeah i'm hyped for the show to be it's to me to be honest with you guys I'm more hyped for the Daryl, I'm not Daryl, but the whole Negan and Maggie spinoff show more than Daryl and Carol. Because what's Daryl and Carol? Let's be honest here. Let's be really, really honest here. What is together? But I mean, I, I, maybe that's just me. But but yeah, but but yeah, I can't. I mean, I I know uh, probably Jeffrey Morgan and Lauren Cohen are, are really hyped for the show. I am I'm hyped for, for the show. Um. Uh, I might, I don't know if I should, I might consider reviewing season one, episode one of the Negan and Maggie show on the channel. Uh, I, I do not know about that yet, but if you guys want to see that, uh, just comment down below. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I just can't wait for the show. I can't wait for the show. In my opinion, it's going to be better than, like I just said, I think it's going to be better than Daryl and Carol. Because I'm telling you right now, if Daryl and Carol... If, if the whole plot of Daryl and Carol is Daryl and Carol just riding off to random locations, finding random survivors out of the blue, I'm going to rant. Because first off, that makes no sense for Daryl and Carol to do that. Because then people like me are going to be like, well, Daryl and Carol's uh, story shift ended after the Walking Dead season 11 of the Walking Dead TV show. If they were just going to be running around, saving random ass people for no reason. But 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 but, with, but however, with the with Negan and Maggie spinoff, it's more interesting because you got this big city in the background, and it has you it has you wondering and guessing could this city be somewhat connected with CRM? And it also raises the question, like, okay, if it is connected with CRM, how come the Commonwealth never mentioned it? How come the Com Commonwealth don't know about it? How come they don't talk about it? You, I mean, and you and that 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 that's the question that gets you wondering like like okay what is this big community how, how come nobody's mentioned that i mean i, I this is why i don't want to see this is what here's our here are the things i want to see in this negan and maggie spinoff and here are the things i don't want to see the things i want to see is this maggie and negan pulling their differences aside and becoming allies to each other not friends and no not couples but as associates, allies to each other. In my opinion, if this show is going to work, Negan and Maggie need to put their differences aside. They need to come. They both have to come together to find out what this community is. Because if they don't put their differences together, like if they don't put their their differences aside, then how are they going to work together? And what's going to be the whole point of the show if they're not going to work together? That's what I want to see. Another thing I want to see is what is up with this big city like community is it connected with somewhat to the crm could it be connected with the crm because it has to be like i kid you not guys look at the poster in the background the the walls the city the signs how can it not be connected with the crm i don't know in my honest opinion i feel like it has to connect in some way to the crm if it's not connected with crm then what's the point it could be one of those it could it could be in our community that's with the crm but if that's the case they gotta go full in detail they gotta explain it it has to make sense for the story if it's not if it's not gonna make sense for the story or if they're not connected to somewhat to the crm then what's the whole point point of this whole big community of, of people in new york so yeah, that's one thing I want to see. Uh, I want to, I, I mean, yeah, I want more interactions between Maggie and Herschel Jr. And I feel like Herschel Jr. should be a part of this show. Because if Herschel Jr. is not a part of this show, I'm going to rant. <laughs> because I'm going to be like, really, Maggie? You're going to abandon your, your own child? Your last connection to fucking Glenn? That's, I'm sorry not to be rude, but that makes no sense.
if that was to happen, that makes no sense. That's definitely negative, and that's something I do not want to see in this spinoff. But 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 point being, another thing I do want to see in this spinoff is more interaction between not only Maggie and Herschel Jr., but between Herschel Jr. and Negan. Like, for example, just imagine, like, like Herschel Jr.'s at this, like, new community in New York, and he's, like, trying to make friends his age. But then that's, that's where all those kids just went away. Or push him or whatever, and then and then say like like all oh, Negan sees this, and then and then Negan gets this sign of sadness and remorse in his heart, and you can probably see it on his face because then Negan will be like, "Damn, that little boy doesn't have a dad because of me." Like if they do a scene like that in the Negan and Maggie spinoff, that would add to Negan's character. The, the show that little remorse on his face, like damn, like like because of me, that poor little kid has no father. Just imagine that. Just imagine a scene like that. That's something they could touch on in the show. That's a scene that could be in the show. This is what I'm talking about. AMC needs to think outside the box. If they don't think outside the box, then what's the whole point? What's the whole point of this show? If they're not going to combine their ideas, if they're not going to work together as a team, if they're not going to think outside the box and do possibly good good stuff like this, then how is the show going to be any good? How is the show going to be any better? If they're not gonna use their brains, that's the, that's the point I'm trying to make. But yeah, that that would be a perfect scene in my opinion. I feel like they need to add something like that because if not, then I'm gonna be pissed. Like really, another thing I want is more scenes with Maggie. I want more badass scenes with Maggie. I want this show. Th to be honest with you guys, I want this show to fix Maggie's character because Ma I'm telling you guys right now, Maggie's character in The Walking Dead season eleven is garbage. However. In this spinoff, they could fix the character of Maggie, considering Angela King's not going to be the showrunner of the Negan and Maggie spinoff. Uh, like I just said, this new showrunner named uh, Ellie, uh, Ellie Horn is going to be the showrunner for the for the Negan and uh, Maggie spinoff. But uh, but yeah, I just but, but, but point being, I just want this spinoff to fix her character. If it's not going to fix her character, then I'm going to be like AMC idiots. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, those are two things I want. I want this this spinoff show to really, 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 really fix Maggie's character, and I want more badass scenes with Maggie. And another thing I do want is a really good explanation. Meeting, I want a very, very, very good explanation as to why both Negan and Maggie travel to this big, like community, uh, in in New York City because. Last time I checked in the Walking Dead TV series, they fucking hated each other. <laughs> but, however, they need to come together in order to find out what this community is. But then again, the point being, there better be, they better be a good, good explanation as to why they're there. Because if it's, if, because it, if the explanation is a stupid explanation, I'm going to rant. Because... Bro, I'm going to be like, AMC, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Not to be rude, I just get heated up with stuff like this because no one AMC. They don't know how to think outside the box. But point being, I just need, uh, they just, all, that's all they need to do. Give us a pretty good explanation as to why they're going off to find the city. <laughs> that's uh, that's all we need. That's all we need. A really good explanation. But yeah, um, in regards to this announcement, I, I was I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm honest dude. I'm an honest YouTuber. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped for this show. I'm ready. Just I can't wait for twenty twenty three because I just wanna see season one, episode one of this stereo uh not there, but of this Maggie and uh Negan spinoff to see what it's all about because now I'm curious. This whole big city thing in the background, that's what has me curious. And I just can't wait to see. And I'm telling you right now, it better make sense for the fucking story. If it doesn't make sense for the story, I'm gonna be pissed. But yeah, but yeah, we like said before, and yes, I'm gonna say it again. I'm watching this show for TV show Negan, Jeffrey D. Morgan, and Laura Cohen. I'm not watching this show for TV TV show Maggie. I'm watch. I may be watching it for the actress that plays Maggie because Lauren Cohen is is and will always be one of my favorite actresses of all time, and I just fucking love her. And I just can't wait to see her performance as Maggie in this spinoff. And I'm praying to God they don't go an Uno reverse route where they make her character even worse. But I'm telling you right now, if they do that, I'm going to rant. I'm going to rant, and I'm going to be like, bro, what the fuck? Like, AMC, what is up with you? Like, bro. And another thing I am going to bring up, I'm actually pretty happy that Maggie's not going to get her comic book ending 
because in my honest opinion, Maggie's ending in the Walking in Comics was complete and utter garbage and trash. So, yeah, whoever wanted her comic book ending, it seems unlikely at this point, but but with people like me, I'm like, good, because uh, as we know, her comic book ending was nothing but fucking trash, and it felt retarded. So, thank God for that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, please leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh... What do you and what do you guys want to see from the show? Comment down below. Like, what what's the deal? Are you hyped? What are your theories? Comment it all down below. I'm curious to know. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.